Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.4a in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 7 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it and we will look at our answers together. So we have a girl, Erica. She wants to practice playing her guitar for 300 minutes this week. So far, she's practiced 117 on Monday and 58 on Tuesday. How many more minutes does Erica need to practice in order to meet her goal? This is a tricky, tricky problem. So let's see what her goal is. She wants to meet her goal, and her goal is right up here. She wants to... She wants to practice for 300 minutes. How many minutes has she practiced so far? Well, she has practiced 117 minutes, and she has practiced 58 minutes, but I don't know what those two combined are. So I'm going to have to combine those two. And then it says, how many more minutes does she need to practice in order to meet her goals? So what I need to do is I need to take her goal, 300, then I need to subtract the amount of minutes that she has already practiced, that's the 117 and the 58. If I wanted to, I could uh, subtract twice. So let me show you I can, if I can make a little room over here. We'll see 117. Obviously, we're going to have a problem with this regrouping across zeros. We're going to have to be very careful as, how we do this. 0 minus 7, can't do that, so we need to borrow from the tens place, but there's nothing there. So we have to go all the way over to this 300 make it 200 and break one of those hundreds up into 10 tens. Now we break up one of those 10 tens, which leaves nine left into 10 ones. Now I can subtract. 10 minus seven is three, eight is our answer for the tens place and one is our answer. And so that's 183 when I take away this. Now I need to take away my 58 because she also did 58. I need to subtract from the tens place there to make that three into 13. And so that's going to be a 5, that's going to be a 2, and that's going to be a 125. Some of you probably will go ahead and just add your 117 to 58. Let's see that. 117 plus 58. So we're going to have to add this. That's going to be 15, 6, 7, and that's 175. Now notice this right here. Notice that 175 is an answer right there. But that is not what we're looking for. That's how many minutes she's practiced so far. We need to know how many more. How many more always lets us know we're going to subtract something. Does she need to subtract? So now I need to subtract the 175 from the 300. Once again, the borrowing becomes very important here. 0 minus 5 doesn't work, so I need to borrow from the tens place. There's nothing there. I have to go all the way over to the hundreds place. Take 100, so leaving 2. And it doesn't go into 10 ones, it goes into 10 tens. 100 is 10 tens. Now I've got 10 tens, so I can take one away, leaving nine. Break that up into 10 ones. Now I can subtract, and I've got 125. So 125 is going to be my answer. You see, I did it two different ways here. So my answer is going to be 125 minutes. Just to double check, let's take my 125 my 117 and my 58. If those are my three practice times, that should go back up to 300. So 5 and 7 is 12, and 8 is 20. So 2 and 2 is 4, 5, and that's a 10, and there's your 300. So there's your double check right there. Now, how do we get some of these other answers? If our answer is A, 125, we know D is when you get just the addition right here. Well, probably you can figure out where the C comes from. C is if you just take all your numbers and add. So if I've got my 300, and my 117, and my 58, if I'm not sure at all as to what I need to do, just take all the numbers and add, and guess what you're going to get? 475. That is typically going to be an answer selection. How we get this 235 is why I made such a big deal about how we're subtracting 300, minus the 175 that we're supposed to use there. And let's say we don't borrow. 0 minus 5 is 5. 0 minus 7 is 3. And then 3 minus 1 is 2. And there's your 235. Now that is wrong. 